flew into Malawi, Lalongwe, Malawi, which is the capital of Malawi, and we're focusing on the markets here. Students that are here are motivated by learning, by an opportunity to experience and work in a different culture, to collaborate and work with students from another university whose backgrounds are very diverse and very different. The, the markets in Malawi have a lot of challenges. Most of them, they are informal markets, they are unassisted markets, they are operating under people's own initiatives. This word innovation comes up a lot. People use it all the time. And what I think it becomes shorthand for is like a particular technology, like a, a shiny object. It starts with the basis of how entrepreneurs work and what, what it is they're doing in the markets. And then from there, um, kind of funnels it into a larger system of knowledge diffusion, um, looking at what resources they use, um, and then looking at how those resources and interactions within the system um, gain legitimacy and credibility, and therefore how it sustains and then evolves. It brings in spontaneous and good ideas into a, an already working like, environment. So the innovation system is something that can really be practical and can work. Everybody just wants to talk to you and get to know you and why are you here, what are you doing, where did you come from, like everybody wants to know. If I was doing a normal ma market research, uh, it would be different, like maybe people would not be even interested to hear what I was going to say, but looking at the, my colleagues from MSU, like people were like anxious, like what is this? I'm also surprised by how easy it was to get used to things and how much we've kind of found our place here and now we're comfortable in the markets and we're comfortable talking to people. For you to make a, a, um, a long-lasting change, a sustainable uh, change, you involve the people that live that life or they, the innovations have to be meaningful to the people that are uh, doing such type of livelihood. <laughs> For me, it's a focus group is like um, putting together people from which you would like to get the information from, putting them together and uh, try to source the information, not as individuals, but as a group. They all seem to have developed an understanding and appreciation and empathy towards what's going on in in urban markets, which is more like, that's essentially all that I had hoped for.